Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sid Alpha coming to you this evening with another episode of Is It Worth It? Today I'm looking at The Battle of Soul, a game released by BitPlanet Games that came out of Early Access yesterday, July 1st. Uh, this game has been in Early Access for a while and I've kept my eye on it, but I've refused to actually purchase it or check it out until it came out of Early Access. I think most of you who've been watching my videos for a while now have come to realize that I am not a fan of early access uh, in any fashion and I tend not to support it. However, I am glad that they have managed to complete the game and I'm very much looking forward to it. First off, uh, let's take a quick look at the options menu here. We do have control settings, automatic ship reorientation, Rumble. I'm guessing this is uh, compatible with a gamepad. Mouse analog sensitivity, dead zone. Now this does have Okay, that's a little bit wonky. There we go. Let's just get it off of there. That's a little bit wonky. It's uh, frustrating to see that that isn't more, a more adaptive interface on rebinding the keys. However, this does have a full list of rebindable keys, which is uh, quite nice there. Let's check out video and audio. We do have all the screen resolutions, it looks like. Well, most of them, anyways. They do offer uh, 4K resolution as well full screen or windowed mode, world detail level, which that's a little disappointing that that's a, just a slider, that's all the detail level settings you get. And then we have uh, MSAA, anti-aliasing, and you can either cap or uncap the FPS, which is an odd thing to see with this game, as uh, the graphics, while not bad, aren't over the top, and it's kind of odd to see what your decision on that that it actually gives you an option for capping or uncapping the uh, uh, the FPS. However, that uh, could become an issue with uh, some some builds. So I don't know. That might be a perfectly viable option there. Of course, uh, audio settings are basically pretty standard. A little bit light on the graphic settings, I must say. the heck okay that's odd my mouse is actually hovering over the yes button but it's still showing his no there we go okay now we have game settings uh, use virtual mouse joystick show cockpit I didn't bother pulling my joystick out for this game so I'm a little bit unaware how what the joystick functionality is uh, we're gonna leave it at easy for now F of V constraint we're going to maintain x-axis constraint. This actually does have a field of view slider, although why, you know, 90 degree is still a pretty narrow field of view. Why you would want to go all the way down to 60 would just, that just puzzles the hell out of me, to be perfectly honest. Uh, show tooltips, space flight physics disabled. Of course, that is unchecked. All right. So that is the options menu. Missing a few key elements, I think, but it's it's good enough as this this game's like I said it has pretty decent graphics, but you know, we'll give it a little bit of a pass as the graphics changing the graphics settings actually do have a pretty marked difference depending on what you choose. We're going to go into a new campaign here. That's perfectly fine. I'll just redo it. Like I said, we'll keep for the purpose of this uh, first impression. We will keep it on easy difficulty. This game, of course, does have a standard tutorial, um, followed by incre uh, missions with increasing difficulty. I believe there are a total of 21 campaign missions in this. 
So this is the game so far. Um, you're going to be spending 99% of your time in the cockpit. This this game does have limited cutscenes, and if you're listening there, it is voice acted, which is something that I was not expecting. Now the launch here is automatic. You have no control over it. This is the mouse control, which I have to say it's a little too responsive it uh, it doesn't have too much feel of realism to it but and the controls themselves also are a little bit wonky but you know it's just odd to me the I, I can't imagine a fighter in space having that kind of sheer responsiveness I really can't but looking at you know, the background layout in this game is pretty nice. Lieutenant Williams, please increase your thrust. Thank you. Please and the voice acting onto Commander David spacecraft. Now, please pilot your The voice acting uh, is it's not the greatest in the world, but at the same time it's not too bad. It allows you a little bit more immersiveness than you would typically see. Oh, I can't actually boost yet. That's because it's a tutorial. That's fine. Um, it does, like, like I was saying, it does allow a little bit more immersion than, uh, than I was expecting. And it did actually tend to draw me in a little bit. Even though the, the controls on this, I will definitely end up remapping all of these keys. Uh, just because of the simple fact that I don't think a whole lot of thought was given to the... The uh, the key binding, the default key bindings, and the game layout in general, they're a little bit counterintuitive, and were a bit confusing to me. Of course, for me, I was always a huge fan of the Wing Commander uh, space flight simulator games, and those all had a very similar control layout to them, and those were adopted by a lot of other games as pretty much a standard for this type of game's control layout, and these are actually very, very different. As you can see, get uh, now this is interesting here. This overheat. I've been looking around, trying to find uh, where you see the heat build up, and this is one mechanic of the game that I really do not like. One mechanic of the game I really don't like is this balancing of the uh, the reef charge rate on your thrusters and your weapons. Mostly because you will be using both quite a bit, and without having this boosted recharge rate, it takes them forever to charge back up. It really does. And this this micromanaging your, your power and uh, the heat level... It really is not necessary. Although you do have that's a nice feature there. You can uh, unlock your controls and keep flying the same direction and turn and face another way. Please do so now. Well done. Please disengage slide. The Hades targeting system can be used to locate friendly spacecraft. Please do so now. Thank you. What do you think, Lieutenant? I'll admit my slide was a little clumsy, but the rest of my... I was referring to the planet we're eyeballing. I, uh, I have a good feeling about it, sir. Yeah, like I said, the voice acting isn't terrific, but... When it was unspoiled. It's... It... It... It could be definitely be a lot worse. It really could. And I know I'm giving the game a little bit of a pass just because of uh, what a huge fan of the style and this genre of game that this is. So I'm, I'm willing to be a little bit more forgiving of it than I typically am of other games. But at the same time, I have, been, I have put in about five to six hours so far on this game. And uh, so far... 
I've had no bugs, no issues whatsoever. See, so, yeah, that's that's fun. Okay. And, of course, we didn't get too many points because we're only on easy difficulty, so the multiplier is a, a 0.5. But, like I said, easy for the, the purpose of the review. That way I can concentrate a little bit more on my being able to talk you through this as opposed to concentrating on not dying. Um... So anyways, back to what I was saying about the power management system. It's it's I think I feel it's really unnecessary and it actually does take away quite a bit from the gameplay. Oh, uh, there's our guns. Little bit basic there. But at the same time also Leonard, not Lieutenant. too bad. Yes, sir. I was um the uh yeah. I'm saying for Sorry. for the type of game that this is, you know, they actually did do a good job. Overall, it is stable. Because I didn't Lieutenant Williams, please target and destroy the training fodder provided for you using your missiles. Oop, I damaged myself a little bit there. We'll just back off and just pepper it with missiles. Just dumb fire them. Now this is interesting. You put actually push F to fire the missiles, and you can either dumb fire them by that method, or you can hold it down to be able to Lieutenant Williams, lock on to them. The which that it's actually walking me through that right now. All right, buddy. Oh no, a drone. Oh, so need to slow down there. I'm going way faster than that thing is. Well done. There we go. Lieutenant Williams, meet Lieutenant Fan. Fans call Sinus front guard. You know, like All the right. they sell for dogs. Seeing as how he's always tip of the spear and never flees from a fight, <laughs> we thought it pretty clever. I thought I just done. did the homing Sorry, missile thing. That's odd. <laughs> Front guard adheres to the old religions, ain't that right? Religion? I am not a polytheist. Okay. So, yeah, basically this is uh, not a bad game. Like I said, it does have ever-increasingly difficult uh, missions as the game progresses. Um, I've only gotten about uh, probably a little bit past halfway, three-quarters of the way of the uh, the campaign missions. The story is actually not that bad for a game of this type. It's really not, to be perfectly honest with you. It's not a it's not a super rich storyline, but it's not bad either. Here we go. We'll just blow some guys up real quick. Alright. Well done, Lieutenant. Your skills not too hard. Well, the early missions do leave a uh, fair amount to be desired as far as... Please do so now. Oh, yes. And you can actually expend your energy to heal your ship, which actually can be nice if you can break away from combat for a little bit. You can heal back up, so it, it gives you a little bit more longevity there. That feature I actually do like seeing, but as you can see, without the boost charging there... These take forever to load back up. They really do. It's it's horrible. And I wish... I think they need to tweak this a little bit. or ch I would have actually done away with it completely. Of course, you'll... I would leave in, you know, a certain amount of uh, capacitance and having to recharge and things like that with your weapons, possibly with uh, shields or something like that. You actually don't have shields. You just have uh, whole armor and things like that, which you can regenerate with that. Uh... Oh, it's not even going to show it because I'm at full health. Well, maybe I'll go ram something real quick. Boom, there's some damage. 
was a United Colonies and it actually does show damage in the cockpit, which is nice, and it gets progressively worse the uh, the, the more hull damage you take. But uh, yeah, this this is a nice feature. The rest of it, uh, you know, the the thruster recharge and weapon recharge and being able to balance the power between the two of them, it's it's not good and it's something that I definitely would do away with 100%. This is actually a nice little effect there. Again, we only get a 0.5 multiplier, so... And I have to say, running it on a on a on a computer with an SSD, in between missions, there's virtually no load time whatsoever. Uh, this game seems to be optimized pretty well, and for what it's doing, it it's doing it really nicely. Uh, the graphics, at least at a distance, aren't bad. We're get we'll get a little bit more of a close up at these engines here. Whoa. Okay. without ramming into the ship that was kind of embarrassing there so as you can see this is a uh, also something that's uh yeah the engine emissions a little bit wanting now this is something i check out in every space-based uh game is one thing do you get damaged from engine wash apparently not in this game the graphics of the engines at a distance look fine, but up close, and you can see wire mesh there, but the actual drive emissions there are not that special. Like I said, they, they do look fine at a distance though. I mean look and I do see do see a bit of heat wave there too. That's a good little effect. They actually spent a little bit of effort on that. That's that's nice to see. And again with these guys, we'll take a look at these engines. I'm just ignoring the uh, the game right now. That's actually hmm. Not too bad. Oh, we better get ourselves up here. We'll get nice up close. Ah. Alright. If this was a joystick, it would be a lot easier. Okay. A little bit of stutter there. as you can see the graphics don't hold up to super what the heck don't hold up to super close scrutiny but for the most part you're going to be flying around and most ships you see are going to be at distance and sometimes a little bit closer so they actually hold up okay i guess i i can live with them this 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 looks interesting though That really didn't hold up there, did it? Hmm. So, a bit more. I would actually like to see a little bit more spin time. For, for a game that they, they obviously invested some time and effort into the graphics, the voice acting, the uh, the game mechanics, overall, they, they took some time with this game. They did. And I would like to see a little bit more on the up close textures there I really would that would just add so much more to this game because overall it's an impressive game I've been having a blast with it it's fun it's great I and mean, look at that background my god how could you not enjoy that that is gorgeous and the ship models, even at a distance, where most of the time you will be fighting from... Oh, there's actually enemies flying around. <laughs> no registration to any sovereign state or colony, and are refusing... Warning! 
We are under attack. All right. Well, Wait let's go flag find flag someone to kill, I guess. Hades pilot out here double time. All Hades pilots okay. to their spacecraft for immediate launch. This is not an exercise. Repeat. All Hades pilots to their spacecraft for immediate launch. This is not an exercise. There goes him. And you can actually also push spacebar to target ships that are nearby you that happen to cross your field of vision instead of having to cycle through them. So that's that's good. And the uh, overall the controls on this game, they just need some tweaking. They do. I mean, they're not the best, but they're also by far and away not the worst. See, and this is one of those points where I wish I had a little bit of thruster, which I can't have because I have to keep it all put forward towards weapons, which is pissing me the fuck off. I mean, I want to be able to get to these guys and kill them, and I can't because... On behalf of the United Colonies of, of that. Stand down and identify yourself or... Now it's interesting, when you do pull hard maneuvers like that, it actually does take your ship a little bit... Uh, you see a little bit of drag as your ship reorients to a, a new direction. So that's that's nice. I want every jock dock so we can follow them out. Attention, all fighter pilots. Come on, die. There you go. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Oh, they jumped out. Pansies. So, yeah. Overall, I'm liking this game. I do. I do have a few... Uh, quibbles and complaints but overall the game mechanics are solid the gameplay is fun the voice acting while not super great is not super bad either and does add a nice little element of immersion to the game I'm actually going to pause it here and overall it's a good game for what for what you're paying for it and for the amount of time uh, and enjoyment you'll be able to get out of it it's quite good and i would most definitely recommend it to anyone who's a fan of this style of genre um, again this is the battle of soul it was released uh, yesterday july 1st or full release i should say came out of early access yesterday july 1st on steam uh, sale price is $14.99 however it is currently on sale until the 8th for 15% off so you do get to save a little bit of money there and it is definitely something worth picking up I highly recommend it I'm loving it and I'm go definitely going to be continuing to play it uh, hopefully they will be releasing additional campaigns or uh, new games this developer obviously spent some time and effort to make a good game and i think they accomplished it i really do so again battle of soul go check it out uh i this has been sid alpha please remember if you like these videos to uh to like favorite and subscribe and please share with your friends get some word out there that i am around uh, i know content has been a little bit slow the past couple of weeks it has been because of this god-awful oppressive heat that we've been going through but i'm hoping to be able to pick things back up here soon so as always i'll see you next time